What's happening tonight is that we're making a strides within our own community because within the Western population, our own community, LGBT people are ridiculed, are criticized, are bashed, and a lot of those negative factors happen dealing within our own community as well as of course the United States and within the world. So uh, what my organization does, it started about a year ago and it was because my first patient to ever die was a young male, was 27 years old, who took his own life. His name was, I'm going to give you an alias, we'll call him D. Uh, D was a young man who at the age of 13 was sodomized and his mom was a crack, was a crackhead and she sold him into prostitution and he himself got into uh, pornography, heavy substance abuse, and with a heart just longing to be loved, he just chose what was given to him. And he decided to like end his life because of the hardship which he entailed. D always came to me and always asked me for clothing. So the vision of my organization was something that I could tangibly do within the community, which is gather lightly worn and new clothing and just hand it to them. However, we never do garbage bags or boxes. A lot of people within our community, the LGBT youth population, face so much turmoil, neglect, rejection. A lot of them are forced into things which they don't become proud of, which is survival sex, which is having sex so that you could have something to eat, have clothing, just have finances to live. So these are things that they are not really proud of, but these are the choices that they're forced to make. And this is a sad reality that's faced within the LGBT youth population. There isn't, a, there isn't a community out there within our own selves, and our Western Union, Guyanese, Trinidad, and the health youth population that really truly embraces. So what we're doing here is groundbreaking. So for you guys to be here and support this organization, it's remarkable. You guys are making strides in re recognizing that LGBT people are within our own community. And they're faced with the same obstacles and tribulations that many other people who you guys think that maybe perhaps, oh, that's a white people thing. Oh, that's a black people thing, but not in our community. But guess what? Being LGBT transcends all of that. You know, it's not biased to culture, religion. It's here. It's something that's prevalent. And these are people who are longing to be loved, like every one of us. They have a special need. They want to be loved. They want to love and love their partners equally with the freedoms and with all the respect that you, as perhaps heterosexuals, have an uh, inalienable right. So I'm going to rant because I'm very passionate about this, but what's happening tonight within our community is uh, an initial step to realizing that within our community there are people themselves who are homeless, who are faced with rejection, uh, who have been beaten and tortured and kicked out, even within our own our own cultures, even in Jamaica, you know, it's it's not legal you would be um you would be uh, jailed for you know identifying as this. So those are things that we really don't think about, but they're prevalent issues that are here. So I'm going to get on my soapbox and I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that's here tonight because with the support that you're uh, giving us, we're able to make a stand and make new grounds and, and pave the way for people who identify as LGBT to have a voice, to have a, have a stance and, and say it's okay, there's a community that's embracing you and that supports you. So thank you for everyone that's not only bringing the new year, but standing for someone who's facing oppression. Thank you.